Hey y'all, Darby here. In this video, I'm gonna share how to use GenSpark AI's super agent with Reddit MCP to do deep market research. The criteria for getting started and implementing this demonstration is going to be a GenSpark.ai account and a Reddit account, both of which you can get started for free. I wanna preface that there is a lot of stuff that you can do with GenSpark, a super agent that it has access to a multitude of specific AI agents and assistants that are helping with execution behind the scenes. So whenever you create your account with GenSpark and you sign up and log in, you'll see on the left sidebar, super agent plus AI slide sheets, docs, chat, and all agents. So if you want to quickly just check out some of the other options that GenSpark can do for you, it's a powerful platform. You can see you can generate slide sheets, docs, you can download, you can call, do deep research, fact check, and create images, generate video, translation, um, all sorts of things. And so for this video, I want to show you how you can very quickly get started doing deep research on Reddit with GenSpark. And so what I've selected in my super agent interface, which is very similar to ChatGPT, so it should be pretty easy to navigate, is you see these choose tools. Whenever you're getting started, if you're going to have any tools selected, these tools are giving your AI super agent inside of GenSpark access to go and leverage these tools. So I've installed Google Suite, Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Notion, and you can see they support a number of other MCP tools. MCP is Model Context Protocol. And there's a lot on here that uh, you may or may not need, depending on what your goals are with the outcome that you're looking to achieve. I selected the Reddit MCP, which is already built into here. And what this does is allows you to interact with Reddit's public API and exposes the functionality through MCP protocol. And so now all you would need to do is get that selected for yourself. I can come in here and I can ask it to search something inside of Reddit or inside of a subreddit. I could say you search Reddit for some trending topics related to problems people are having in uh, markets specifically, I want you to research. And then here you might put whatever niche you're in, right? And so I want, want to research something along the lines of roofing contractor companies and the problems they have, right? And here we go. Now we're searching Reddit. We are executing this task inside of GenSpark with Reddit and research these different threads to provide us with content we can go deeper on. I'm going to let it do its thinking and then we'll jump back in when it's done and continue on from there. So it's completed its research and I'm not going to read this word for word, but you can pause and you can scan through and see what it's saying. And it is pulling out some incredibly detailed language from how people are responding from these different Reddit threads. You can see, you can select the link. You can see this is on three years years ago, and you can see the conversation where it's pulling this from. You can see that is reflected right here and it even includes the username. And so all the outputs now are coming from these threads that are talking about conversations related to the problems that roofing contractors have. And if I was serving this industry, this type of research is to me really helpful for getting inside of the mind of the market and understanding at a more deep level, what problems are they experiencing right now that we could look at potentially solving for with some sort of solution, whether it's physical, whether it's a service, whether it's a software, whether it's an app, doing research, getting information from the market, super helpful. GenSpark and Reddit MCP make it super easy to do. And GenSpark can do so much more than just this, but I wanted to share that quick demo for how you can utilize this tool to go deep on market research and understand the messaging and the language that your audience is having as a result of that. Another cool thing you can do with GenSpark, their AI agent and MCP is, as you see here, I have added in my Gmail as well. I have Google Drive, I have Google Calendar. We can also have it prep emails to be sent. So I can have it write the email, have it set it up in my inbox as a draft, and then I can review that and then send it or CC anybody else I want from here. Let's just send this to our team. GenSpark's agent will let you type and draft the email in here. It covers a summary of what that is. Access the draft from your Gmail inbox, make edits and send it to yourself or others as needed. So that's good. I'm going to send it and just to confirm how this actually looks. I'm going to go and check my inbox. And now we see it. Email from me, my email that I set up inside of GenSpark with my Gmail. And then we can see the email drafted right here, sent directly to me like this. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. If you found this helpful, let us know in the comments and like, subscribe, share this video with anyone else you think would find this useful. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, y'all.